This is the all new Peppermint OS 11. The system that is famous for its super fast performance is now reborn with an even robust engine under the hood and a completely revamped experience for its users. Many people come to the Linux world searching for something to boost their slow and old computers. And Peppermint OS has always been one of the top choices for these people as it puts lightning speed into even decades old computers. Super smooth performance and cloud centric experience make this distro very unique. So if you want to revive your old computer or simply get a better performance out of your laptop or desktop, this video is for you. Peppermint OS 11 or just Peppermint as it's called now has dropped Ubuntu as its parent and has gone with the latest Debian stable as its base in this new release. That changes a lot of things for Peppermint. So let's jump right in and see what's new, what's improved, the new features and see how exactly Peppermint accelerates your computing experience with hyperspeed. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new in Peppermint. Firstly, the biggest change, Peppermint OS was formerly a Ubuntu based distribution. It was built on top of the LTS versions of Ubuntu. But with this new release, Peppermint developers have dropped Ubuntu and switched to the latest Debian stable as the base. This version of Peppermint is built on top of Debian Bullseye. Let's talk about that in a bit. Another major change we see is, Peppermint now takes up XFC desktop environment. Earlier versions shipped with a heavily customized remix of XFCE and LXD components. Now we are getting XFCE 4.16 here, no more LXD components. Moving on, Calmares replaces Ubiquiti for system installation. We get a fresh new look with a streamlined set of icons and theme. Linux Mint's Nemo is brought in as the default file manager here. Peppermint is now a 64-bit system which is another crucial thing to note. Peppermint has always been a bloat-free system, but now it gets even leaner. There is no web browser installed by default. In fact, many other essentials are not installed by default, but you get an option to choose what to install immediately after the first boot up. This brings us to the next change. We get a new Peppermint welcome application that helps you get started with Peppermint by letting you install a browser, essential applications, wallpapers, take you through the ICE application which is the core element of Peppermint experience and so many other things. Then we get a new central control for the system called Peppermint Hub. So these are the highlights of the new Peppermint. Let's dive deep. I'm really happy that Peppermint has shifted to XFC so let's start off with the user interface. We get XFC 4.16 here and it looks really nice. XFC desktop environment is a lightweight desktop for Linux geared towards high performance delivery. We get a simple menu here which has applications organized into categories. Then we get a really fast search which activates as soon as you press a key while in menu. For me, application search is very important because when I'm in the middle of my workflow, I almost always open applications using search. The running apps are displayed here and we get a system tray with important system indicators here. The whole desktop layout is very intuitive and familiar. Even Linux newcomers who have switched from Windows will know how to navigate around this system with ease. You just know where everything is because of this familiar desktop layout. Recently, XFC desktop has become popular again as some operating systems have shipped XFC with stunning looks. Zorin Lite, Manjaro, Linux Lite all use XFC desktop but each one has its own distinct look and feel. I liked what Peppermint has done with XFC here. Things are kept simple, but red and black are used very nicely to get that engaging and attractive look. This system grabs your attention with this visual profile. And there are a lot of customization options here. While the default installation doesn't contain any additional themes or icon packs, as the base system is kept very lean, you can install a ton of them right from the welcome application, and that too very easily. A huge number of popular and stunning themes and icon packs can be installed in bulk here and then you can try them on. And the options here are amazing. I really like that even when the base installation is kept minimal, the customization choice is there and it's made very convenient. Overall, Peppermint OS looks good and the desktop, while being lightweight, doesn't lack any features of a full-fledged desktop. It's mature, looks good and is rich with all the desktop features. XFC desktop environment has always been more about performance than about looks. While I can't complain about the looks here, 
Performance is what I think when I think XFCE. XFCE desktop is at the core of most high performance operating systems and true to that, we get a very snappy experience here. I use GNOME as my main OS and I'm fairly happy, even with performance, no complaints. But when I use Peppermint on the same system, I can feel the difference. Everything feels so quick and nimble. The system response you get when you click on an icon and the application opening up, it just makes you happy. Peppermint runs fluid smooth not just on OK hardware but on older, ancient computers too. The minimum system requirements are 1GB of RAM and a 10GB hard disk. Anything about this and the experience only gets better. Peppermint really shines because even when you install it on a system with a traditional hard disk drive, it keeps on par with the latest operating systems running on solid state drives. Of course, this is because of the lightweightedness of the system and is limited to the OS itself and most applications. Large file transfers still take a lot of time. Laptops are where I personally find Peppermint to be distinctively advantageous. Heavier operating systems feel more heavier on laptop due to obvious design, especially thermal effects, and this is where lightweight Linux distros shine. High performance combined with a cloud-centric computing experience that Peppermint delivers results in a very lean and slick laptop usage feel. You're sitting in a cafe, you log into your Peppermint system, do some writing and research work online, have that latte, close your laptop and walk off into the sunset. Did I mention your laptop is a decade old? Yeah, but it doesn't feel that way, trust me. So performance wise, Peppermint doesn't leave you wanting for anything, it's just amazing. As I said earlier, Peppermint is now a Debian based distro. With this version, Ubuntu is dropped as the parent and we get even better stability with an all new Debian base. Debian is one of the oldest, most secure and highly dependable operating systems. Debian gives us a set of undeniable benefits which is why major operating systems like Ubuntu, Kali Linux, MX Linux, Linux Mint, Zorin OS and so many more are ultimately built on top of Debian. The same base makes Peppermint highly reliable. Peppermint makes a great system for daily usage, for schoolwork and other use cases, especially if you work online and it's pretty much an install and forget system. Extensive testing and stable package versions together give us a highly dependable system that is also very low maintenance. Coming to usability, Peppermint is self-explanatory as far as the UI is concerned. Then, the whole system is built for Linux newcomers. Therefore, a lot of work has gone into simplicity and ease of use. Peppermint has a number of usability features that make it an excellent choice mainly for Linux beginners. The welcome app very quickly helps you to get started by letting you install some important software and your favorite browser. Then there are also options for customization here. Peppermint Hub is a simple tool that helps you manage and control your computer. This is a new feature that we see in this release and it's designed for simplicity, making it very easy for everyone to control their computers. For example, you can change the theme and tweak the bottom panel from here. It's good that all the settings are organized under three tabs. Site-specific browsers or SSBs for short form the core of the Peppermint experience. Many modern web applications offer great features and are replacing many native apps. SSBs allow these websites to become more directly integrated with the desktop. SSBs basically allow you to open a website as an application in its own window without the top controls of a browser. Site-specific browsers are a great way to keep your browsing organized and efficient. With SSBs, you can open your favorite website in one window without the clutter of bookmarks or tabs. As someone who works online most of the time, I cannot stress how better this feature is for things like Google Drive, online video editors and many other things. We get an app called Ice here, through which we can create and manage these SSBs. Ice supports SSBs through four browsers, Google Chrome, Chromium, Firefox and Vivaldi. So install whichever browser you like and you'll be able to enjoy these SSPs. ICE is pretty straightforward. Input the URL, name and where do you want to see this particular website in the menu. It gets the icon from the website and it's done. While Peppermint is created to cater to a cloud-centric, always online audience, that doesn't mean you cannot use it offline. Peppermint has a vast software library plus snaps and flatpak support. Peppermint downloads and installs software directly from the Debian stable repositories. Now these contain over 50,000 well-tested packages. 
When I say well tested, I mean extensively inspected to make sure that each of them works flawlessly. So you can install pretty much anything you want here and it's convenient too. You get Synaptic Package Manager here. Synaptic is the coolest package manager for Debian based Linux distributions. It is simple to use and fast. Synaptic lets you search for, install and remove software packages. Advanced operations like full system upgrades, fixing package issues are all a one-click operation with Synaptic. I agree, it may not be as aesthetic as say GNOME Software Store, but it definitely is way more mature and has better usability. Then we can also install snaps and flat packs on Peppermint. Clicking on their icons in Peppermint Hub takes you to their respective web stores for installation instructions. Overall, installing additional software on Peppermint is very easy and the software choice here is as better as it can get. But the package versions can be older. But this trade-off is a big win for stability and that flawless user experience. Installing Peppermint OS is pretty simple. Anyway, I've linked the official installation guide in the description below. This is very easy to follow through as they provide screenshots and explanations for every step. Talking about system requirements, Peppermint will run on anything with even a single GB of RAM and a 64-bit processor. You need 10 GB storage space for installation. Just download the ISO from the official website which is linked in the description, flash it onto a USB stick and fire up into a live session. Calmaris installer will take us through the whole installation procedure. After installation on the first boot up, the new Peppermint Welcome application will let you choose a browser, some important utilities and software for installation. Additional things like installing themes, icons, wallpapers, getting started with ice and settings are all available through the Welcome app. Peppermint offers visibly superior speed, a high degree of reliability and a no-nonsense computing environment. That's it. Really, there are no bells and whistles here. But what Peppermint offers, everybody wants. Peppermint is a productivity-oriented system. It is perfect for people who want to get some work done quickly. It boots fast, it runs fast and practically, you never have to worry about updates or system maintenance. When we compare Peppermint to other systems, one area where it undeniably shines is on low-powered and older devices. I mean, it basically revives old computers. So if you have an old laptop or desktop collecting dust, Peppermint will definitely help you get some more mileage. Even medium-powered laptops which might be lagging on other operating systems will get massive performance boosts with Peppermint. For powerful hardware, you get a lot of options. But for rather aged hardware, Peppermint is a great option. So go ahead and give it a try. Download link is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to my channel. Next up, check out MX Linux, which is yet another performance-oriented system. This is Linux Techs signing out.